Hey guys, what's up? 2-Bit Jesus here with another video, and I'm just gonna stop apologizing for, you know, I know I said I would try to stick to a schedule, and I clearly can't do that, so I'm gonna pull a Microsoft, you know how Microsoft is with their uh, console sales and how they're mum about it. I'm just gonna start being just mum and just work on videos that I can work on and release them and not really talk too much about scheduling these things and just, just, just do what I can. Anyway, today's topic is, is actually a follow-up to a, a video I did previously on the FTC going after Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft for their warranty policies. They were in violation of a couple of laws. Now, per CNET's article, which I will try to remember to link in the description below, it appears Sony and Nintendo have adjusted their warranty policies. So now, I, I won't like read the entire article, but basically, with their new policies, you will be allowed to open up your PS4, or in this case, your Switch, and you will not void your warranty, meaning if it gets damaged or broken, um, you could still send it into Nintendo or Sony, and you know your warranty would be valid. Now, Sony in particular changed the language of their warranty where if there is damage caused from you opening the console, then your warranty is voided, but the actual act of opening it up would not void the warranty. Now, how they prove you opening it up and it, you know, being damaged or whatnot, that, that seems a bit murky to me, and maybe they kept it that way. We'll see if the FTC accepts that, then you know that'll be Sony's new policy going forward, or maybe the FTC would say, no, you gotta be a little bit more specific, you can't just kind of leave that vague. And now, the interesting thing about Nintendo is they added uh, a little clause about modding your system. Now, this has been a huge problem with Nintendo systems for a while now. Now, I mean, the other consoles have it too, but like, typically... Uh, Nintendo's consoles, like the, the DS, I remember, and 3DS, and especially the Wii, were really easy to, to mod and hack and, you know, alter. And I don't remember that. I remember with the 360, it not being too hard, but it required a little bit more work where, like, the Wii is easy, easy to hack. And it looks like Nintendo has added new terms on that. So you will void the warranty of your console if they find out you've intentionally modded the software or I guess even the hardware. So that leaves just Microsoft now. We haven't heard from Microsoft, which I will admit that I was wrong because I thought Sony and Microsoft out of the gate would be like, all right, we're going to change our policies, and Nintendo would be the one that's stubborn, but we haven't heard from Microsoft yet. Uh, I honestly think, I mean, they're a U.S.-based company, so they have to deal with the FTC directly, pretty much, so I'm pretty sure they're going to change their, pol their warranty policy, and uh, that'll be the last we talk about this. So, anyway guys, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this news. Interesting that, you know, Sony's kind of, they changed it, but they left it vague enough to where they could claim, even if you opened it up and sent it back to them, they'd say, oh, they opened the console up, and they could probably claim, oh, they damaged this, so your warranty is void. They, they leave it vague enough for them to, to, to be able to still say you voided your warranty and especially Nintendo looks like they're really trying to clamp down on the modding of their systems. Uh, more power to them, you know, I mean I get it, that's your your product and you don't want people hacking it and being able to just get free games on it. That's That, that kinda, you know, kills the business for them and the developers for their system. Um, but anyway guys, again, let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this new news. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and ding that bell. That way you get notifications with everything we're doing. That's all from me today, guys. Remember to stay safe and play on.